Damen und Herren, willkommen. Señores y señores, bienvenidos. Mesdames et Messieurs, bienvenue. Welcome to Future Generations uh, University 2021 graduation. Um, this is probably the first time a lot of us have been in a room with a lot of other people, so we might have forgotten if you have a cell phone. You might want to silence that. Um, anyway, welcome. I would like to invite our president, Daniel Taylor, to the stage for some welcome, welcoming announcements or speech. Continuing to share in our world message, Salam Alaikum from our colleagues in the Islamic world. Namaskar from our colleagues in South Asia. Tashi Dale from our colleagues in the Tibet Autonomous Region. And very specially from the indigenous people with whom future generations worked in Arizona, the Apaches. Dish Chibiku Ben Sale. The last means we are walking forward together which is a traditional Apache greeting. We're walking forward together all over the world. That's this exciting thing about future generations, is how we have come here to be together all over the world. And we have here in this class fantastic participation from around the world. Now, in 2021, most of us have been worried about the problems, because there have been many problems in 2021. But what you learn at Future Generations is, and I'm sure the graduates here can tell us, first of all, we build from our successes. We find our successes and we build from them. And second, we do that through partnerships worldwide. We're growing from the strength that we have. And we're making our decisions based on evidence. Not on opinions, not on politics, but based on evidence. And we're doing what everybody in the world can do. We're changing our behaviors. That's what we do at future generations when we come together. And what happens is that the idea of underdevelopment or just disappears. And everybody in the world is developed and always developing the best they can with what they have and with what they have learned at future generations. It is possible to achieve a more just and lasting world. And so what I want you to pay attention to right now is not what I said, but what you're about to hear, which is evidence from all over the world of people who've learned at future generations how to grow just and lasting change. So as president, on behalf of the world family that now extends to 41 countries, welcome to the commencement of 2021. We will now award diplomas to our graduates who could not join us on North Mountain. Presenting the degrees will be Board of Trustee member Bill Grant. Thank you very much. Welcome everybody. By the authority awarded by the State of West Virginia to the Board of Trustees, and accredited by the Higher Learning Commission. We herewith will commence uh, issuing the degrees and diplomas. Daniel Ndaseb Mamouye from Ethiopia. Yes. <laughs> Daniel Lemlem Gebru from Ethiopia. Hey, dear me. 
Herman Montevia Vargas from Bolivia. Yes, I am present. <laughs> <laughs> Jean-Marc Lemou from Haiti. Yes, everyone. <laughs> and Casey Gibson Bunch from Kentucky, United States. Faculty, alumni, friends, family, and 2020 Future Church University graduates. Congratulations. I am Daniel Ndasa from Ethiopia. Today is a special day that we can remember. Looking back our time at Future Church University, it's easy to overlook our blessing all around us. But we have been extremely fortunate to be part of such an incredible university. The diversity of our graduate class and professors build our experience and our pride is what makes up future generation community over the past few years i've grown not only individually but together with friends families and communities as well and i believe we have formed one best and successful graduate class within a difficult situation of covid 19 pandemic as many scholars say i believe tough situations build strong people. Challenges will continue to be part of our lives. But the principle is, don't afraid. Always have the courage to continue and in the process we will learn who we truly are. COVID-19 is a good example for this. No matter what obstacle we face, strive to be the best version of ourselves possible. Be great by our definition of lives by our virtue and push ourselves to achieve our dreams. Likewise, as applied community development graduates, we have to apply the principle of city skill in our community by helping to define and identifying their success of the community rather than overlooking blessing of resources available wherever in the community. That is human energy. I appreciate to know the city scale community development model because it is new for me and applicable around the world. I would like to thank you, Future Genesis University. It makes me to look in a new direction or able to forward to my community. Thank you, my professors, for your amazing and consistent hard work in making sure that my education to be successful during this horrible time. Thank you, my friends, classmates, families, for this successful contribution. Congratulations once again. Thank you. My name is Daniel Lamlam uh, from Ethiopia, which is the origin of the first mankind called Lucy. In that sense, we all are Ethiopian, aren't we? On the top of globalization and packages of international principles, nature has massive magnetic energy that binds us all together into oneness. If you consider the fresh air we breathe right now, coupled with the water, soil and the sun energy we share to make a living that all govern and determine our survival and destiny. On the other hand, we live in a very complex dynamic and polarized world with full of opportunities and threats that all seek the wise application of human energy to create a bright future and a fair world for all. Dear Professor Daniel Taylor, President of Future Generation University, distinguished guests, professors, university staff members, and my fellow graduates, today I am honored to virtually attend this historic commencement ceremony 
and feel great to graduate my MA in Applied Community Development at Future Generations University during such a complex global chaos and COVID-19 pandemic period. In my academic journey, I get a lot. Right now, I'm standing in front of you with full of confidence, energy, motivation for change that have been guaranteeing for contributing my best to ensure sustainable and responsible changes at local and international levels. Finally, I would like to thank my God, the Ethiopian Agricultural Transformation Agency, this university, my wife, my friends and family members for your close support in making this opportunity to flourish and open new doors of success. In Amharic language, Salam Fikr Lachum, meaning peace and love for all. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Good afternoon, dear professors and all the audience. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to express a few words in this great ceremony. First of all, I must express my gratitude to Dr. Henry Perry. During the last millennium, when I was working with my peasant people in my country, I met with him and he introduced me to this world's university. Thank you so much, Dr. Henry Perry. I started these studies more than 10 years ago, but due to painful situations of my life, I couldn't continue. We used to visit community health and educational centers. For example, Sebagram in India, Mahatma Gandhi's ashram. Our many thanks to pharma professors, for example, Dr. Dan Wesner, Mike Richlin, and many others, Dr. Sheila McKean. Unfortunately, she passed away. This university inspired me to write this new chapter of my life. However, it couldn't have done without our teachers, without university founders and donors, thank you so much indeed to the descendants of Dr. Taylor's generation. Finally, the, this master's degree taught us the secrets of community development, three-way partnership, see the scale and their inventors are the secret. Thank you so much to all future generations university staff. Thank you, thank you a lot to all my family members and a special kiss to my wife Erlincita. Long live to global health. Thank you so much. Bolivia. Hello future generations, global family and friends. My name is Lemus Jamal from Haiti, currently involving in future generation Haiti's legacy, which is to empower communities to build a just and sustainable future. So when I was accepted to Future Generations University, I was very delighted of joy and happiness because one of my dreams has become reality. So far, this opportunity has given to me one of my biggest accomplishments in life for now on. So I want to take time to thank God for this precious gift. My famous instructors and professors, my peers, future generation Haiti's family and friends for support. Through this program, I have learned about seed skill, one of the most powerful theory of change, because it is an adaptive model for every community for effective change. But more importantly, for my communities. And I believe that a seed always needs an owner 
but to scale it needs a doer and I am that doer for the economic empowerment project for peace that I am leading right now in Haiti which is to train women on entrepreneurship and leadership because effective change come when people comes together and I believe that change is duplicating small action over, 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 over and over to reach our behavior change. And I believe that we have to embrace opportunities, take responsibilities, and make them happen. Change is possible all around the world. Thank you. Hi, I'm Casey Bunch. I'm from Horse Cave, Kentucky. I want to say congratulations to other graduates today. I hate I can't be there with you all, but I'm sure it's a party in Franklin. Uh, first, I want to say thank you to the future generations faculty and staff for the education and encouragement to start my own business as a nonprofit consultant and to continue my career in community economic development. I hope to continue my education and community development to further role development across Kentucky and the southern part of the United States. What an honor it's been not only to be a Peace Corps a Coverdell Fellows graduate, but to also be a part of a community that stretches across the globe. Uh, I look forward to being alumni of Future Generations University. Thank you all. By the authority awarded by the State of West Virginia to the Board of Trustees and accredited by the Higher Learning Commission, uh, we herewith award these diplomas, degrees I should say, in a Master's in Applied Community Development. Brady J. Rogers. <coughs> Look at the camera. Good evening. I'd like to thank the university for putting on this event. Um, over the past year, we've had to forgo many celebrations and gatherings due to COVID-19, so it's truly a blessing to be here this evening to celebrate with my fellow graduates and our families. Uh, first, I want to start by saying thank you to my parents. You've always uh, asked me to pursue my passions and pursue my dreams, so thank you. Uh, to my wife, my, I don't really have words to be able to describe how thankful I am for you. Um, you took on a lot of extra responsibility um, while I spent a lot of nights on Zoom and during assignments <laughs> raising our son. So um, tonight, today is not just a celebration of my accomplishments, but really a celebration of our accomplishments. Uh, to my children, uh, Daddy's finally done with school. <laughs> so if you take anything away from this speech this evening, remember to always find the positive, value the people around you, and strive to make the world a better place, and one day you'll be up here giving a speech. So, Future Generations is a special community. Community, a group of people that share something in common and have the potential to act together. We come from around the world, and we share in a passion for learning and bettering the lives of people in our communities. Our professors have taught us the process of seed skill, which each of us have applied in our communities. To my fellow classmates, it has been humbling to hear the challenges faced in your community, the challenges of violence, climate change, and a global pandemic. But it is an inspiration to see how each of you have overcome and work to continue doing amazing things in your communities. Our professors have equipped us with a change process called Seed Scale yeah. that is applicable in every community. Seed Scale works because it is built on human energy possess in each of us. Seed skill builds from success which generates hope. It is then with hope that an, an, an inclusive three-way partnership that seed skill empowers communities to take ownership in the change process. Once a community has taken ownership of their future, we evaluate with evidence and strive to get better every day. To my fellow graduates, the work of seed skill is never done. We're always changing 
so we never know where the future will take us. So using seed scale, we can, we can have a better, inclusive society where everyone will benefit. So I cannot see where, I cannot wait to see where you take uh, your community, where you lead your communities. So thank you everyone and congratulations to my fellow graduates. Rosalie Pearl Lynch. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wow, greetings to everyone. So good to be gathered here today, both in person and virtually around the world. It is really a, truly an honor to be here to celebrate uh, what my classmates and I have accomplished after several years of hard work and a lot of love for our world and our communities. It was an honor also to bear the Bolivian flag of my colleague, Herman. And it truly is hard to believe uh, that I'm here today. This day has finally come. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have been involved with Future Generations for quite a while before I came to be a student in the master's degree program. And um, it was actually probably about eight years ago um, when I first learned about Future Generations from my colleague Luke who was teaching a seminar during my uh, undergraduate studies on social change uh, from the ground up. And that's when I had heard about Future Generations Graduate School and I thought, gosh, I would like to go to a graduate school like that one day. <laughs> and yet, as we often do try to resist fate when it comes knocking for us, I uh, did have some resistance when my colleagues in the office at Future Generations uh, after I had started working here first part-time and then full-time on the team suggested that I apply for the master's <laughs> program and I thought not now not me <laughs> but thank you very much and yet here I am and so I'm, I'm really just so grateful and honored to be here I credit uh, this degree and my amazing professors with teaching me so much uh, certainly uh, giving me the tools to confidently take on tough issues of climate change with uh, my community in Shenandoah Valley of Virginia and Climate Action Alliance of the Valley where I took on leadership positions I didn't know I was capable of, as well as giving me the perspective to be able to humbly embrace my new home of El Salvador with a good understanding of how I could best support the sustainable development of that small Central American community. So sometimes um, looking at the world that we're in, certainly now in 2021, I struggle with understanding how we can you know, face the collective tra tragedies um, together and hardships, but the fact that this institution exists and that we come all together really gives me hope that there are people, a growing family of people around the world who are dedicating their time and lives to making the world a better place, to ensuring that our planet is going to continue to be a hospitable one for humanity and ensuring that there is security and justice for all. So I want to thank a lot of people, <laughs> certainly all of my professors uh, and who have also become colleagues and my family, my mother and sister who traveled from New Jersey to be here today and my father who I know is watching from a distance as well as my husband Ian who definitely took on a lot of dinner duties and <laughs> decision making to help me get through. But uh, it is really such an honor. I, I do, of course, want to thank my colleagues, uh, my classmates, who has been such an honor to learn alongside and with and from. 
And uh, I just want to end today with a quote from one of my uh, heroes and a famous anthropologist, Margaret Mead, who had said this, never doubt that a small group of committed, dedicated citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. And that's exactly what we are all doing today and what we will go forth and do tomorrow. Thank you. Oliver D. Lippy the Eighth. All right. Thank you so much. Um, I'm so glad to be here. Uh, I also want to shout out my wife over here, um, who has sat through many of the Zoom classes and and actually potentially could have the degree herself um, because she sat through so much of it um, and listened in and was a part of a lot of the projects too because we had worked together for a while. Um, but I, I've learned so much from Future Generations University about um, community development work. I was working somewhat in community development work before I came here and mostly knew how hard it was. It is very challenging. Um, it's, it's very hard work. And I know now that it's, it's worth it. Um, if you can bring, um, the amount of justice and peace into the world, even just a little bit it is worth whatever energy it takes, uh, to put into it. Um, and to help kind of bear witness to what I've learned, I have an, an analogy of a story from years ago, um, when I was helping a friend move into his apartment. Um, so I used to think of community development work a lot like this, right? We had to get a mattress um, a couple floors up uh, a flight of steps. And in, in this apartment, this particular apartment, there was many 90 degree turns um, on the steps on the way up. And so, you know, I, I remember being on the bottom of this mattress trying to take it up the steps. And eventually at one of those 90 degree turns, um, it got stuck. And there was like, I, I was throwing my body into it and, and it's at like a 45 degree angle. So it's nearly impossible to actually put any energy into that mattress to get it around an impossible turn. Um, and so my friend up tops yanking on it as much as he can. And I'm on the bottom kind of throwing my shoulder into it. And after, you know, like maybe 20 minutes, we, we raised it just an inch. Um, and that's how I used to think of community development work. It's this impossible challenge that just feels ridiculous. You can't even communicate with the other person because there's a mattress between you. <laughs> um, but what I've learned at, at very least, what I've learned is that it would have been worth asking one of the neighbors about how they got their mattress up the steps. <laughs> um, and I remember actually, at, after we finished this ridiculous task, there was like a back door that would have been so much easier. Um, so at, mo at, at the very most like minute scale, what I've learned is to form those partnerships, um, to search for those successes that already worked, um, and just to listen to others more. And I'm so glad to have earned this degree. Um, it also has been really challenging, but it's been really fun as well. So thanks so much, everybody. Um, welcome, everybody. Um, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, uh, I'd like to congratulate all the graduates, the five virtuals and our three in person. Um, David Hales, the chairman of the board, uh, wanted to participate, but he had to have a, an emergency surgery. It wasn't life threatening, but it was an opportunity that came up and he, he took it. Um, so he sends his apologies, uh, but wishes he could have been here. You know, I think that this is really a unique degree uh, that you've gotten. I, I must say that 43 years ago when I started in development, I was running a community development program and I knew nothing about what I was doing. So um, it would have been great if I could have taken <laughs> this course, but I've, I've devoted my last 40 years to really trying to figure out how do we have sustainable impact at scale? And I think that those are, are some of the really interesting uh, 
challenges. And I know that Future Generations was actually created by somebody who said, how do we do things at scale? And that's really been the focus of my life. Um, you know, how do we make it work? And I think many people mentioned today, it has to be locally owned. The solutions have to be owned by the people. And for it to be sustainable, they actually have to generate the resources themselves. It can't be dependent on outside sources always giving it to them. The people must figure out how to do it. It's also critical to find points of leverage. You know, as we want to get to scale, how do you find those partners who actually have broad reach so that if you've got a good idea, you use the partners to spread it? I think that one of the most interesting things coming out of this pandemic has been really the, the massive evolution of both social media, but also just the information communications technology in the world. And I think that you're going into a new, really it's a new phase um, of how change happens. I mean, we've seen how change has happened in this country in the last six months. It's been really frightening in some respects, but that those tools, if harnessed properly, can really help you take those successes that you figure out and share them and get them out. And so I think that's really the, the challenge uh, for all of you is to not just keep it, you know, success in the community, but how do you take it to a much broader scale? How do you get it so that it gets copied and uh, adopted by many other people and who will do their own adaptations to it, but to get it um, really out there. So with that, I'd just like to thank you all again. And I guess, that's it. thank you very much. Uh, this rite of passage, this ceremony, allows a brief moment of reflection and thanksgiving for what went before to allow this day to happen. It is an honor to be able to share this space and this time with those zooming in from around the world, I think I counted about 30, um, into the world room of the North, Cam of North Mountain campus and with you all that are here in person. Thank you to the graduates for pri prioritizing your studies. <laughs> Thank you to the families and friends who have supported these graduates. Both these jobs are really hard. And I want you to know that the faculty and staff at Future Generations University very much appreciate your dedication. Thank you to my fellow faculty for being mentors to our graduates as they diligently worked through our challenging program, not only learning from you, but from peers and from their communities. Thank you to the staff who are the bedrock on which the Masters of Arts in Applied Community Development stands. We are a small team, but somehow we manage to keep all the balls in the air when it comes to running a world circling, action learning academic program. Um, thank you to the commencement team who brought together this first of its kind Future Generations University hybrid commencement. To have graduates here in West Virginia, three here in with us and five graduates joining from Ethiopia, Bolivia, Haiti and Kentucky to have trustees, faculty, staff and friends, family all join together here in this world room to have music and laughter and speeches and nibbles, to have all that in the shadow of a pandemic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now back to the stars of the show on the screen here, the graduates of the Future Generations University Masters of Arts in Applied Community Development. Please keep in touch. We look forward to your active participation in the Future Generations Alumni Association. Namaste.